11 Realistic Ways to Earn $1 Million It's easier than you might think to become a millionaire. And it's totally achievable. Here, there are only 11 practical techniques to make a million dollars. No voodoo or snake oil. Both a lot and not a lot of money, $1 million. What people mean when they say it takes money to make money. Is that the first million is the hardest. Once you reach your first million, your money begins to put in the effort. So let's try to raise that $1 million. If you don't win the lottery, you'll need to make a few choices when you're still fairly young. That will either help or hinder your ability to see those seven digits in your bank account. 1. You must begin investing. Investing is undoubtedly the most important item on this list. This is how you become a millionaire, or a billionaire. If you so desire. It is the crux of your personal finance journey and the secret to achieving financial success. When it comes to investment, time cannot be substituted. The quicker you get a million dollars, the earlier you should start compounding your funds. In other words, a project manager making $50,000 a year could have a higher net worth than a doctor making $250,000 a year. If the project manager has saved and invested more money over time, to get started, you don't need a lot of capital or financial expertise. An excellent place to start is M1 Finance. The process is straightforward, the prices are reasonable. And there is no minimum. Stop reading this now if you aren't investing. And start doing it right away. The only factor more crucial than market timing is time spent in the market. As the saying goes. It is a fantastic, simple way to increase your nest egg. We offer Ray Dalio's All Weather Portfolio as a well-liked investment strategy to consider if you want to save fees and have more control over your money. 2. Investing in real estate. Real estate is a fantastic way to generate passive income. As we have written about frequently, although purchasing a house to rent out might be a long-term investment, there are other ways to profit from real estate. Also, you don't need a lot of cash to get going. You can invest in real estate with Funrise for as little as $500. Before you have the cash to buy a rental home, it might be a terrific opportunity to get your foot on the property ladder. For the past five years, we've invested with Funrise and seen sizable returns. Our weighted average return for the year 2021 was 12.5%. You don't have to be a hands-on landlord when you're ready to purchase a rental property. In fact, we developed rental properties for passive investors. A course that solely focuses on a laissez-faire strategy regarding turnkey real estate. You'll discover the standards we use to select, and close on, the ideal property. The fundamentals of a fruitful rental enterprise. The benefits of protecting your assets with an LLC. Market trends, cash flow management, and much more. 3. Receive that free cash. For many of us, investing begins with a company-sponsored 401k retirement plan. And this is a great place to start. An employer-sponsored retirement savings plan known as a 401k enables you to invest a portion of your salary before taxes into an investment account, where it grows tax-free until you are ready to begin making withdrawals after age 59 and a half. It's a terrific option to invest for folks whose money burns a hole in their pocket. Because the money is taken straight out of your check before it reaches your checking account and is invested before you have an opportunity to spend it. A 401k reduces your taxable income as well. You are only taxed on the remaining $4,000 if you make $5,000 each month and put $1,000 into your account. Some companies provide a match. For instance, if you invest 6% of your income, the company will match 3%. You should invest enough to obtain the match even if you have high interest. Consumer debt like credit card debt, because it is free money. You can contribute up to $18,500 annually to your 401k in 2018. Your company will present you with a variety of investing options. The majority of these plans consist of mutual funds that hold stocks, bonds, and money market investments. The majority of folks have issues here. They have no idea what constitutes a good pick or how to make one. Here Bloom can be useful. Bloom. Bloom is a service that manages your 401k, 403b, or teaspoon without the need for guesswork. They will aim to minimize your investment fees, maximize your investments, and give members of the standard or unlimited plan open-ended fiduciary-grade advice. 
Click on this link to receive a free analysis. Your first month is free if you sign up to become a member. They will analyze your account for free. The longest question you'll be asked is when you want to retire. And it only takes 3 to 4 minutes. Based on your retirement age and preferred level of risk. They will outline how your money should be allocated and how to invest it. If adjustments are necessary. Bloom will make them for members of the regular or unlimited plan. 4. Monitor your spending and expenses. Knowing your financial situation is crucial since what gets measured gets managed. No matter how much money you make. It won't matter if you don't know how to manage it. Although a budget won't magically be able to curb your spending. It can help hold you responsible and help you track where your money is going. We can help if you're unsure of how to set up your budget categories. Use the 50 30 20th guideline if you're unsure about how to divide your money. It makes everything nice and easy. Awesome free budgeting software is available from Personal Capital. In one location, manage your money and make the most of your investments. Personal Capital is a fantastic, free, and simple platform for managing your finances and increasing your wealth. Once all of your accounts are linked, you may use their retirement planner to create a detailed plan for your retirement. They calculate your likelihood of retiring with the desired level of income. By running a Monte Carlo simulation. 5. Manage your debt wisely. Every life must have some debt. Although not all of us, that is true for the majority of us. Both good and bad debt exist. Borrowing money for a down payment on a property. Or student loans to obtain a degree in a lucrative sector are examples of good debt. Bad debt is when you use credit cards to make unnecessary purchases. You don't have to wait till you have enough money saved up to buy the thing in full. Because you are spreading out the payments over a long period of time, such as years. Additionally, excellent debt typically has a low interest rate in the single digits. Good or terrible, we still want to manage our debt repayment. Through Earnest, you can refinance your student loan debt for a cheaper interest rate. You might save thousands of dollars over the course of the loan. If you can refinance at an interest rate that is just 1% lower than your present rate. Earnest. Refinance of student loans. High potential individuals can now get low interest loans. Because to Earnest's unmatched service and technology. Your student loans will be granted at the greatest rate possible thanks to their platform. Should you hold off on investing until your student loan debt is paid off? No. Keep in mind that time is the most important factor while investing. You can earn more money investing than you are paying in interest. Because the typical student loan interest rate is only 2 to 4 percent. While the average stock market return is 7 percent. The emergency is credit card debt, on the other hand. You need to pay it off as soon as you can because the interest is so high. Make a strategy to pay off your credit card debt if you have any. It is ineffective to just add more money to all the accounts. To pay it off quickly and effectively, use the snowball or stacking strategy. You are eligible to apply for a debt transfer credit card if your credit is strong enough. Since the card offers a 0% APR period, you can pay off the balance you transferred from another card. With a high interest rate without paying any further interest. 6. Request more funding. If you want to earn a million dollars. Whether it's through your 9 to 5 job or a side business, you must acquire more funds. Do you receive the compensation you deserve? Do you even know what you ought to be earning? The majority of employers won't automatically offer you a raise. Because you've been working for them for another year. You must request a raise if you desire one. On websites like Glassdoor and Payscale. You can learn how much individuals in comparable roles in your neighborhood make. This provides you with a base from which to negotiate a raise. Make a list of the reasons why you deserve a raise before requesting one. What accomplishments did you make in the last year? And how did they benefit your boss or the business? Even while getting a raise is wonderful. You might not actually see much extra money in your wallet. The typical rise is about 3%. You should switch occupations frequently if you want to increase your income. Over the course of their careers. People who switch occupations every two years. Make an average of 50% more money than those who remain in. The same post for longer. Do not simply take the pay that is provided to you if you receive a job offer. Once more, be aware of what people in nearby similar occupations are making. And be ready to bargain for higher pay and greater benefits. 7. Earn more. 
The majority of us have ample time to earn additional income outside of our regular occupations. We can spend some of those five hours earning more money. If we can spare them from watching TV or using social media. And you'll need to if you want to increase your wealth to a million dollars. Everybody should have multiple sources of income. Without our fault, we might lose our jobs. What then? Even if you have an emergency fund for your heart. It might be stressful to not have any income coming in. You can set high goals and strive to be an entrepreneur while maintaining a full-time job. But that takes time to work on and time before it starts to generate any revenue. But as LMM shows, it might be worthwhile. A handful of people work on the site full-time presently. The startup costs for building a niche website are really inexpensive. 8. Choose a good location. You must choose a place to reside after college. You frequently have to make your choice on where the jobs are. And the opportunities are frequently in pricey places. However, there are more affordable cities outside New York and San Francisco. Which have some of the highest living expenses in the entire world. Don't disregard smaller, second-tier, cities when you're seeking for a job. Also, resist the urge to get seduced by a huge pay offer. In New York City, even low six figures don't go very far. Especially if you intend to someday have a child or children. In cities like Pittsburgh, Asheville, and New Orleans. You'll live like royalty on that amount of money and possibly even $20,000 less. In New York City. However, you're barely getting by on that type of money. Unless you share your home with one or two, or three or four, roommates. Make a list of a few cities you'd be pleased to live in before you start searching for jobs. Then, do some research on websites like Glassdoor and Payscale. To find out how much an individual in your position, with your degree of experience, makes in each of those cities. Then, select the top three cities based on the findings from the cost of living calculator after entering those figures. You can now start filling out employment applications in those cities. The cost of living will be very important if you want to make a million dollars quickly. Even if I know that many individuals prefer to live in a top-tier city. With plenty of work in their particular industry. 9. Be aware of your credit score. You'll pay more if you have a low credit score. Your credit score has a role in how much debt you take on. The interest rate you are offered when you want to borrow money for a home. A car, or to establish a business depends on your credit score. Your interest rate will be lower the higher your score. Your life is more affordable if you have a decent credit score. To qualify for the best rates, you don't need to achieve the ideal score of 800. All you need is a number that is north of 760. Credit Karma Credit Karma just performs a mild credit check and is entirely free. This program helps us keep an eye on our credit ratings and figure out how to raise them. It's not difficult to raise your credit score. And while it doesn't happen immediately, it does so more quickly than you might think. 10. Avoid purchasing anything you don't need. When you receive a raise, bonus, or tax rebate check. What do you do? Do you mess up? You will never be a millionaire if you constantly update your possessions. And way of life whenever you have more money. Living below one's means is a common characteristic of the wealthy. And there is a big difference between being rich and being wealthy. You want to be rich. If you'd like to become a millionaire, stay away from lifestyle creep. Managing your money wisely doesn't mean you should only spend. What is absolutely required? What a miserable way to live. However, when you do use your discretionary funds. Spend it on activities rather than material possessions. Instead of spending $100 on a new pair of shoes, purchase some concert tickets. Why? Because it has been demonstrated that spending money on experiences rather than objects makes us happier overall. It also makes perfect sense. Our identities are shaped by our experiences. We are not our goods, rather, we are the culmination of all the sites, experiences, and locations that have passed through our lives. Purchasing an Apple Watch won't change who you are. However, taking time off of work to trek the entire Appalachian Trail would. Gilovich asserted that our experiences are a bigger part of us than our material possessions. You may genuinely enjoy your material possessions. You might even believe that such things are a part of your identity. But they are still unrelated to you. Your experiences, however, are a part of who you are. The sum of our experiences makes us who we are. Buying a pair of shoes means you now have footwear. 
You might even brag about them to your friends. Who will smile and nod in agreement? It's enjoyable the first few times you wear shoes. You look nice in them and enjoy wearing them. But ultimately they blend in with the rest of the footwear in your closet. However, when you purchase concert tickets, you can savor the excitement of the forthcoming performance. Most likely, you'll go to the show with a companion and have a great time. The concert is remembered fondly by everyone. Investing in experiences is significantly more rewarding. And a prime example of wise expenditure. 11. Refrain from paying account fees. Because most fees are automatic and are not paid with cash or a credit card. You might not consider them when considering how you spend money. You do, however, pay them. Bank fees cost the typical US household approximately $300 annually. Open an account with Betterment if your bank is nickel and diming you. They even reimburse any ATM costs you pay. When using their cash reserve account, so there are no fees. There is no minimum balance. Which means there are no monthly fees, overdraft penalties. Are foreign transaction costs if your balance drops below a certain dollar level. Improved cash reserve. This high yield, no fee savings account is intended for the money you put down each day. Their interest rate is 8 times higher than the US average at 0.40%. And it continues to be that way because it follows the Fed funds rate. No one likes to lose $300 a year to bank fees. But when it comes to losing money to investing costs, it's a drop in the bucket. Investment fees are a $600 billion annual expense for Americans. You lose nearly a third of your retirement savings to these expenses personally over time. The free tool from Personal Capital will help you calculate your investment fees. It will examine your holdings to see where you are making payments, and how much. They will then locate less expensive options for you that have the same asset allocation. Personal Capital connects your accounts for you and handles the work. One simple trick. We're sorry, but we don't know the one secret to making a million dollars. If you desire a million dollars, you can obtain it by making a number of tiny, everyday choices. Being a multi-millionaire isn't just for tech startup founders, lottery winners. Putting your tax refund and bonus into your Roth IRA as opposed to spending it. Deciding not to move into a larger apartment despite having the money to do so. Avoid using credit to purchase something you don't need or can't afford with cash. Avoid investing in items like Bitcoin that you don't fully comprehend. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel in appreciation.